Welcome back to Movie Mo Show. Today we are going to review the crime drama mystery film, Awake. If you like our content don't forget to like and subscribe. We upload multiple times daily. Spoilers ahead. Clay Beresford, the head of a capital investment firm, falls in love with Sam, Alba, but he won't inform his mother, Olin, about their connection. Sam is his mother's personal assistant, as we would later learn. Clay needs a heart transplant because of a heart issue, and Dr. Jack Harper, Howard, who previously saved his life and is now a close friend of Clay's, will do the procedure. His mother and Dr. Jonathan Nayer, Arliss Howard, her prominent surgeon boyfriend, attempt to talk him out of having the procedure done by a surgical team that is facing numerous malpractice claims. It appears that Clay starts to grow apart from his mother and finally reveals his relationship with his girlfriend Sam as a result of his mother's interference in his choice to have his friend do the surgery. Because of Clay's impatience, his mother tells him to wait till he is older than 22 years old. Angered, Clay leaves with his fiancée. He requests that Dr. Harper swiftly set up a wedding for him and Sam. At midnight, they exchange vows in a private ceremony inside a church. The hospital informs Clay that it is time for the operation after the wedding. After that, Clay visits a hospital for surgery. His mother attempts to talk him out of it once more and directs him to a better hospital and a more knowledgeable physician. Clay mentions that he trusts Jack before dismissing their worries as an attempt to sabotage his friendships and carrying out his original objectives. Clay, however, runs into the phenomenon known as anesthetic awareness during surgery, which leaves a patient fully paralyzed, unable to move or talk, but still able to hear the doctors and, more significantly, still feeling agony. Clay tries to concentrate on Sam, who is now his wife, to distract himself from the horrible pain of having his chest cut open and his ribs separated. Eventually, he experiences an out-of-body experience and discovers a murderous conspiracy against him. Warning, spoilers ahead. Clay learns during his outer body experience that Dr. Harper, another surgeon, and a nurse are involved in a scheme to inject his transplanted heart with a substance that will make it rejected after the transplant. Sam, Clay's new wife, enters at this point when Dr. Harper gets second thoughts. She appears to be a key component of the overall plan. Because Clay and Sam are now married and his millions will go to her, the physicians want Clay to pass away so that they may use his money to settle for all of the hospital's malpractice lawsuits. We later learn that Sam used to work there as a nurse. She then pushes him to go through on the plan and inject the donor heart, encouraging him all the while. If the heart is rejected, Clay will die since he will not find a transplant in time. Like his mother, he has a rare blood type called O negative. In the surgery room, one of the conspirators is absent and is replaced by Dr. Larry Lupin an anesthesiologist who appears incompetent and to have a drinking problem. In the meantime, Clay's mother is eagerly awaiting the operation's results. In her weak spot, Sam tries to win over her mother-in-law. One of the doctors approaches Sam because he thinks he has seen her before. Clay learns and recalls details about his wife during his out-of-body experience that indicate her deceit. Sam forgets her handbag in the waiting area as she rushes between the operation room and comforting, winning over, Clay's mother. When Clay's mother starts to have doubts about Clay's newlywed bride, she searches Sam's purse and learns that she was a nurse before becoming Sam's assistant. During his out-of-body journey, Clay discovers that Sam was a hospital employee who reported to Dr. Harper. He walks, during his out-of-body experience, to his own house and waits to die, depressed and accepting of his fate. Sam's actions and chats provide Clay's mother the first clues about what is happening as she starts to piece together the situation. When she realizes the reality, she overdoses on some of her son's medication and phones Dr. Nair, her boyfriend, to inform him what has happened. She requests that he help her save her son. The mother overdosed so that he could save her son because they shared a rare blood type, Dr. Nair realizes when he returns to remove Dr. Harper and sees the mother's body. The boy is subsequently given the mother's heart via transplant. Dr. Lupin is discovered to be an undercover police officer, leading to the arrest of Dr. Harper and his companions. When the transplant is finished, Clay won't leave limbo because he has nothing left in the outside world due to his mother's passing. After that, Clay's mother reminds him that it might not be the best to spend eternity with his father and mother in limbo. She brings up the fact that his father was an abusive cocaine user who mistreated his kid. She had mistakenly killed her own husband during one of these arguments as he prepared to hurt a young Clay. Dr. Harper continues, saying that Clay did have his comeuppance in the end. Dr. Harper's final words, he is awake, Signal the end of the movie as Clay begins to awaken. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.